All right, guys, I wanted to come on here today and I wanted to talk to you about something that I think is really important, especially with all of the new people here, and that is what I would do if I started wearing wigs today. If you guys have been with me from the beginning, you know that my journey has been a long one and I have learned a lot along the way and I've tried to share those things with you guys. And there are just so many things out there that are gonna help save you time, money, stress, energy. And I really wanna share those with you just to give you guys a little bit better idea of where to start if you're new to your wig journey. And if you aren't new to your wig journey, these might be things that you just didn't think about. Amazon's a great place to find styles that you like, kind of figure out what colors you like, what kind of curls you like, lengths, and then look for more expensive, higher quality versions of those wigs once you've figured it out. I also really recommend sticking with either something very close to your natural hair or something that's like your dream hair. If you buy some crazy out of the box color or style or something that just isn't something that you would reach for, you're gonna feel weird when you put it on. That's just how it works. I kind of ease myself into now being able to wear a lot of different colors, a lot of different styles, but I started out at first really kind of trying to figure out what I liked. And that took a lot of time, but I really tried to stick to things I know and things I felt comfortable with, and that helped me a lot. It can also be super overwhelming with all of the brands that are out there. And one thing I really recommend starting out that's gonna save you a lot of money is go and find those groups, join them, and ask your fellow wig sisters what brands they like, what wigs they like. You can see these wigs on all different shapes and sizes this way, and it helped me a lot figure out what I liked, and what I didn't, and I didn't even have to spend any money to figure that out. Another really important thing is that practice makes perfect. I don't think I've ever met anyone, including myself, who put on a wig for the first time and didn't feel ridiculous and look ridiculous. You don't know where it's supposed to go, you gotta play with it, and you wanna set yourself up for success. It's really important to kind of throw on your favorite outfit. If you wear makeup, throw on some makeup, make yourself feel good, and then put that wig on. If you put that wig on and you are not feeling yourself, you're not gonna feel that wig. No one is gonna out you. I know when I first started wearing wigs, I was always thinking that people around me were just gonna say something. They were like, oh my God, they're gonna you know, tell my secret to the world. And that is not the case at all. The other thing too is just remember that your family and your friends are gonna be the most critical. They are also adjusting to the new you and the new look, especially if you're changing your hair up like I do. It's always an adjustment period for everyone. and they're always going to be the ones who are going to point out things and just remember that they come from a good place and they're adjusting to the new you as well. You guys are looking at yourselves very close in the mirror. I know if you suffer from hair loss like I do, we're very overcritical about every little piece of hair on our head and we can be like that with wigs as well and I promise you no one is going to be up that close. They're not going to be able to tell. You're going to be your biggest critic and everyone else is just going to compliment you on how amazing your hair looks.